I'm working on the bass for this track, and I've decided to use a couple SSL plugins. So let's look at this bass. Uh, I've got a couple things going on here. Uh, to start, I've got the E channel uh, with a little bit of, of EQing for the most part and a little bit of compression and some, uh, some filtering. In fact, let's, let's turn everybody off so you can hear what the bass sounds like by itself. So as I went through the different plugins that are in the studio rack, you could, you could hear that each one had, had a slight uh, addition, sonic addition, to that overall chain of, of that bass. And you can hear without it, it, it's one thing. With everybody, it's, it's a different thing. And clearly has a bit more energy when all of these plugins are engaged. And clearly just adding some of that high mid on the bass and reducing some of the low mid was really changing the quality of this thing. And then uh, the Kramer tape uh, is also adding a bit of, of interesting uh, fur and air, as does the, the Kramer pie. But when I add the drums, I, I, I can't help but feel I wish there was a little bit more energy there. And I'm wondering how I can make that happen. And I'm not quite sure what that is yet. I'm going to try and add a little something extra just to get us a, a little more energy here. I might try it in a couple different things. Let's see. Uh, why don't we try Manny's distortion a little bit here?
So with the addition of, uh, of Manny's distortion plugin and a little bit of further EQing uh, with the uh, GEQ, uh, I've sort of given myself a little bit more energy here, uh, which I'm liking. Uh, I still feel like I'm missing something. And, and I feel like it's, it's uh, sort of dynamic. Uh, it feels a bit flat. So uh, let's, let's add a little something. Again, I'm going outside of, of the, uh, the palette of SSL, but the SSLs are playing quite a big role in this. Let's see what Dave's got for us here. Whatever, let's see what that does. Okay, so that, that's kind of helping me a little bit. I don't know if, uh, if we're completely done with that, but um, for the moment, it seems to be working and, and adding the thing that, that gives me the energy I'm looking for. And, and again, quite subtle stuff going on. Uh, the uh, E channel, just a little bit of equalization happening, very, very little uh, compression, and, uh, and the filter uh, just sort of uh, decreasing the amount of uh, seriously low stuff that's included there. I am pushing some bottom uh, in a range and still uh, shelving uh, below it. I do that quite often to gain control. I like what the TransX is doing, and that's great. I I'm not sure it's fully there yet, but that's okay. One of the things I really like about the Waves uh, SSL plugin and particularly the channel strip, is they, they got it right in the way that the compressor works. Uh, I love the fact that uh, the compressor increases volume. I'm just gonna loop a little section here. As I change the, uh, the threshold, it adds uh, a bit more gain makeup, and that's something that the SSL consoles used to do. I wanted to demonstrate a little bit how that works here with this bass sound. So you can see as, I, as I'm changing that threshold, the, even though it's compressing significantly, the output level is not varying dramatically. It's changing, obviously, because it's compressing, um, but it's not varying dramatically. And that's this sort of auto gain makeup thing that's happening. Um, and and uh, it's mimicking the, the, the similar quality in the, uh, the SSL consoles from back in the day. Let's mess with this sound a little bit and, and see where we can go. I also like quite often having my, uh, my EQ before my compressor. I'm gonna do that in this case as well.
So you can see what, what I did here on this uh, channel strip is, is really try to manipulate the sound to fit it in to the rest of the track. Essentially pulling out things that were gonna get in the way of the real bass or the kick and accentuating things that I thought would make the compressor react a little bit more. Now, I think I've gone a little too far in the bass department, but maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna get back some of what I what I lost by by really focusing that push really around that 50 to 60 hertz area and get rid of things below it because I wanted to change that compressor uh, or I should say that threshold. I wanted to react and make that threshold move, but primarily for the purpose of, of getting the, the beat to, 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 to sort of pulse, right? And that's what I'm using uh, this push for. So I'm sort of creating my own little side chain with this low frequency and then trimming that low frequency here just for the effect of what it's gonna do to my threshold because I've put the, the, the dynamics post EQ. Well, obviously we could we could use this as a dynamic side chain and that would be a whole different thing. That's not what I'm looking to do. I want the package to do a certain thing. And then when we add that bass, we can kind of feel that it's it's not stepping on the bass in any way, even though it's a bass sound. Uh, it's not stepping on the, the real bass. Let's listen one more time. So you can hear that when I'm bypassing and a being uh, the EQ that I that I did on this uh, E channel, um, that it fills up more space when it's in bypass, right? And it's kind of getting in the way of some other things, and and that's exactly what I'm talking about. And that's one of the reasons why I like this uh, channel strip SSL channel strip so much because it can really uh, dial it in and sculpt the sound so that it works within the structure of the rest of the tracks that are playing. In this section in general, it there's not a lot going on. I'll play the whole. Uh, the whole track here without vocals. So you can hear that this part is playing a really supportive role and I really don't want it to get in the way of, of what else is happening here. Uh, and I feel that unless I sculpt out some of that, that other stuff, uh, in this case, the lower mids, it's getting in the way of the other material. And, and again, I can't, I can't say enough how important uh, having something uh, with all of this control on a single plugin is, is helping me do that. Yeah. 